Hello and welcome everybody. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Kristen Fry and today we're at Whitby Oshawa Honda located just off the 401 at Thixon here in Whitby, Ontario. We've got this gorgeous all new redesigned Honda Civic sitting right in front of us. Now this is the EXT trim level in a beautiful crystal black pearl. Keep in mind this Civic is available from DX up to the Touring trim in a variety of colors. So DX up to EXT, you will get projector beam halogen headlights and once you get to the EXT level that adds on the LED fog lamps. If you're looking for LEDs all around, simply upgrade to the Touring trim level and that will actually add on the LED a mirror turn signal indicator as well. Now coming over to our tires, EXT, you get a special treat. It's aluminum alloy aero rims. These are 17 inch rims guys, and they're riding atop 17 inch Firestone all season radial tires. These are fantastic shape, and you can see we have tons of tread left. Now, if you're looking to go up to the Touring, you can get 17 inch rims as well. Uh, they're gonna be on the aluminum alloy rims and 16 inch aluminum alloys for the EX. Now let's take a look underneath the hood, guys, because underneath the hood, you can expect a 1.5 or a 2.0 liter engine, depending on what trim level you get. So come along with me, we'll take a look underneath there. With the new Civic, take advantage of the powerful yet fuel efficient 1.5 liter four cylinder engine. This is gonna kick out just over 170 horsepower and under 160 foot pounds of torque. Now, if you stick with the 2.0 liter, it's gonna be quite powerful as well, guys. You'll be kicking out about just over 150 horsepower and just under 160 foot pounds of torque. Look at that, it is beautiful. One thing you may notice is with the turbo engine, we have moved the windshield wiper fluid over to the opposite side to compensate for the turbo components. Awesome. Well, we're gonna step inside, guys, and take a look at the interior of the Civic so you can see all of the new features that we're super excited about. Helping you hop into the EX Civic and higher, you'll get the smart entry proximity key system, complete with another first factory installed remote start. Woo! That's fantastic and gonna be marvelous come the winter months. For those of us that pick up the DX and LX, you can expect the standard key fob system with remote entry. Now, regardless what trim level you get, when you open on up, everything's gonna be automatic and powered. So we're gonna have power doors, windows, locks, mirrors. We even have an electronic trunk release, guys. Super convenient. Come up to our driver view mirror, which is expanded and slightly concave. We have tweeter speakers. Oh. So there's gonna be a 180 wattage system, which we'll get to in a few moments. But first, the cockpit. The Civic has again been lowered, widened, and lengthened. Take a look at these gorgeous bucket seats. They are heated and manual and upgraded fabric. It's two-tone black and gray. Just take a look at this stitching and detail. They hug you like never before. Ah, oh, super excited to sit down. It is automatic, so we see our brake and accelerator. I want to point out that right there is where our hood latch is, just like it typically was. And we do have tilt and telescopic steering. Now coming up a cool thing, Honda Sensing Technology. Vehicle Stability Assist is gonna be on all of the Civics, but the Honda Sensing Technology, these buttons that you see here, again, available on all trims, LX and higher, but they will be standard EX trim and higher. First button here is our forward collision warning. That's gonna be engaged all of the time, but you can turn it off, just push and hold. That will let you know if you're uh, coming up to another vehicle, uh, alert you to apply the brakes, and if you don't, it'll apply the brakes for you. Right below, we have our lane departure warning. When engaged, you'll see an LED green light there, and that will actually alert you when you've pulled out of a lane without indicating that you're doing so. Super helpful, everyone likes those nice reminders. So we're gonna go ahead, hop in, turn it on, and give you the rest of the tutorial. Come along. Gonna go ahead and turn over the engine so we can review the new dash. One thing you've probably noticed, they've done away with the two tier and gone down to a single dash. But don't fear guys, all of the information you saw on your upper screen is still available in this screen below. We're gonna be going through that right now. So I'm just gonna use this little button here to toggle through the screen, so come along with me. So right now we have it on audio information, but if we want, we can change it over to our phone. It's gonna tell me I don't have one connected, but that's okay. So now we're gonna cycle over to change it from miles per hour to kilometers per hour. Super convenient if you drive to the States a lot. This is our vehicle information, letting us know how much gas we have and uh, any type of trip information we may wanna see. This is our turbo uh, reader. So again, with having the turbo engine, you'll get this option, DX, LX, and EX. I won't have that screen. Keep in mind, guys, you can always add more features or take away some of these features in the settings on the larger menu. 
maintenance minder again letting me know that once I see my indicator pop up I will need an oil change and back to audio perfect so super helpful there now taking a peek at the rest of the steering wheel one thing that I love is the new changes to the volume so when we're on our volume uh, if we want to turn it up or down we can simply go up or down but let's say we want to increase because a song comes on we love just slide slide and raise with pride same with decreasing we just go back down awesome now what they've done they've also taken the Bluetooth controls and lifted them up so instead of having to reach all the way down here they're simply just at the touch of your thumb love it now coming over to our indicator here blind spot display if we turn this on pushing it in it's going to populate our blind spot display this is the camera mounted on passenger side giving us the blind spot view of our passenger side push it a second time and it turns the image off now anytime you put your indicator on to make a right hand turn we see that on it's gonna come off I'll do that again so you see it live perfect okay coming to the right hand side guys we'll go over these controls so we have our cruise control when we turn this on we're gonna see a couple more icons populate what is ACC and LKAS you might ask well, I'm gonna go explain it to you. We have our adaptive cruise control, which is this guy right here. So when I push this, you can see that there's a couple lines that are starting to populate. So this is letting me know that I'm setting it either one, four, three, two car lengths away. So what this means is if I leave it on one, that means that I'm gonna be set one car length away from the car in front of me. Basically, if the car in front of me slows down, my vehicle will automatically slow down as well. Likewise, if the car in front of me speeds up, my car will gradually increase its speed. But it will never, ever go beyond the speed that you set as your cruise. Super cool, and it will definitely help with uh, mitigating some accidents. Now, coming down here, we have our lane keeping assist. So when I turn that on, guys, you're going to see, again, some icons populating up top. And what this does is when I put it in a lane keeping assist mode it's actually going to keep me in the center of the lane I'm driving in best example say you're driving down a major highway and there's construction if the pylons are telling you to go into another lane you can simply hold your hands firm on the wheel and you override the system let's say you're driving and you don't mean to start turning into incoming traffic maybe you're grabbing a bottle for the baby or grabbing something rolling around on the ground the vehicle will actually steer the wheel for you and keep you in the center of your lane again we're all about safety at Honda it's our number one priority for you and the good thing about these Honda sensing technologies you can get them from the entry level LX all the way to the touring fantastic and it's going to be standard on the EXT and of course the touring trim level awesome this level here this is just our windshield wiper uh, which once you've seen one you've seen them all and coming over to our touch screen Touchscreen is standard, LX trim level and higher, guys. It, you gotta see it to believe it. It is super cool. One thing to mention, anytime you wanna go back home, it, this brings you to all of your menu options to let you know what menu settings you have. So we can go through our audio, which we were just on. Audio, even though it's touchscreen, it's gonna work like any other screen before. All you have to do is touch the buttons and they will do exactly what you command. So let's say we're on a station and we wanna save it. Maybe I like this jazz. All I have to do is push and hold. Perfect. Scan, tune, and seek will work the exact same way as well. Wanna change my source? I can go from AM, FM, connect my iPod, Bluetooth device, and if I have any external apps, go through those as well. So what we're gonna do, guys, we don't have that set up, so we're just gonna go back home information information is simply what info do i want to see on my screen so we can have it on trip info uh, maybe we want to see voice info go back to that menu maybe i want to see the clock awesome i'm going to leave it on that for now go back home honda link uh, so this is super cool this is going to bring you to the application of Honda link so guys don't forget to download that on your cell phone it's just simply go to the Apple store or if you're Android go to the store and and get the link there it's complimentary of course going over to our right hand side of our menu phone again this is going to give us an error because we don't have a phone connected I'll leave you to do that when you come visit us in the showroom but if we go back home settings this is where you're going to do all of your customizations we literally could spend hours going through this guys so I'll let you take care of this with your sales representative 
Now coming back home, smartphone connection, once we pair our phone, what happens is we're gonna have Bluetooth, whether we're Android, Apple, flip phone, that's not a problem. But if we take our lightning cable or charging cable and we connect it to our device and connect the other part down here by the driver's side, pardon me, right there, that's gonna actually activate the Apple CarPlay Android Auto. So right up here where you see smartphone connection, once we connect our device through that USB, this will turn into Apple CarPlay or Android Auto depending on the device you have. You then can stream your apps from your phone through to this screen. So let's say you pick up the LX trim level which does not come equipped with navigation. Once you connect your phone through Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, you can actually go into the smartphone connection and open up your mapping system and have your maps display on this screen instead of your mobile device. That is amazing. Don't forget to ask your sales representative for that presentation when you come in for a test drive. Coming down to AHA and App List, go through App List. Uh, this is showing you some additional applications that you have access to. Again, once you uh, load some photos, you'll have access to your gallery. Go back home. Aha, uh -huh. as you saw, we're gonna need a subscription for that. We're not gonna set it up right now, guys. I'll leave you to do that in the showroom with your sales representative. You may have seen me touching these uh, menu buttons down here. So we have our home, our volume. What menu will actually do is whatever setting you're in. So if I'm in audio for information, whenever I hit menu, it's gonna bring me oh, gonna have to change the source before I do that. So we'll go back to FM. And then if I hit menu, it's gonna bring me to the menu options for the audio. If I go home, for instance, and let's say I'm in info, as you saw what I did there. When I hit menu, it's gonna bring me back to the menu options to see what I wanna see. Fantastic. Now coming down to our climate, another first for Honda. We have dual climate control, EX trim level and higher, but we also have touchscreen climate. So once I touch that, it changes my upper screen to my climate screen. We have it on air conditioning because it is like 45 degrees Celsius today. So we're gonna increase this air conditioning all the way up to high. Maybe I want it blowing just at my face or I wanna cool my little feet down. I've been running around outside all day. Super easy, love it. We're gonna turn it down though. We don't really need it that high. Awesome, and then the other buttons are pretty standard, which you would have seen. We have our front defrost uh, per usual, again, standard on all trims, and we have rear uh, and heated mirrors. So when we turn this on, guys, it's gonna work simultaneously. It's gonna heat the mirrors and the back. Air conditioning will be standard on all trims with the exception of DX, of course. And we can turn this, uh, if we take it off, now I can turn my temperature higher. Driver can be lower, but again, let's keep it synced and keep us cool as we can. Coming down here, I'm just gonna move our gear shifter out of the way. One thing I love is that you can actually get a wireless charging port. Now we don't have one with the EXT, but it will come standard on the Touring, available on all other trims. Ask your sales representative about that when you come in store. Now what you might see here is a little cubby. So this is actually designed, so whenever you plug down here, so we have a power outlet, a couple of USBs, you have access to so whatever we plug down here guys you can actually bring the cords up top here so that you don't have these ugly cords bothering you sorry and I also want to show you that we also have a multi view rear view camera all you have to do is push the touch screen and it change our views fantastic coming down to our gear shifter probably seen this in some of our other videos but we do have the brake hold and the electronic brake feature as well as eco mode. So eco mode is going to put the vehicle in the fuel saving format so you're not burning as much fuel as you otherwise normally would. Coming over to our console, super awesome. Our console, you can slide forward or back. So when we slide it back, that allows us to open it and we can see inside. So there's a couple of cool things, guys. This cup holder slides and you can also take it out. So maybe you want to travel with like a laptop or a tablet or magazines, CDs, cassette tapes, eight tracks, whatever, throw them in, set it and forget it. Uh, we also have this area down here, which this can actually fit like a one liter bottle. So with the uh, weather being as hot as it is, you wanna keep that one liter bottle of water with you at all times. 
This uh, USB is great for charging, but this is what you're going to use if you want to load some music onto a CD, a USB stick, uh, and then plug it in here to play. Or say you have some photos you want to load, plug the photos into that USB, load it up into here, and away you go. If you pick up the touring guys, you're also going to get an additional sliding element here. It's about the size of that little guy there. It's perfect for business cards or your proximity key. This down, slide it over. Again, we got our passenger side cubbies. Open up our glove compartment. Woo, look at our wheel locks. Fantastic. One last thing, sunroof. So our sunroof, guys, is going to be standard on EX trim level and higher. One touch controls will open us up. Hello, new car inventory. Back down. One touch will close us. And the same button, guys. Say you want to tilt. I call it the smoker's tilt, but you don't have to be a smoker to do this. Fantastic. Great for getting some airflow in. And again, one touch to close. Okay, well, come with me. We're going to hop in the back seat and take a look at the newly redesigned back seat. Heading into the back seat of the new Civic. Look at all of that room. It is gorgeous. You could practically fit a bike back there. Just hang your arm out the window because the windows go all the way down. Got a beverage? We can store that too. Because it's been lowered, there's tons of legroom, guys. Take advantage of the pocket back here as well. Again, the upgraded black interior with gray stitching continues all throughout the back seat. There's even a convenient drop down here for cup holders for, again, whatever occupants are going to be taking place back here. Um, and guys, don't forget to ask your sales representative about the hidden trunk release. Ooh, ask them for a presentation. It's super cool. Okay, we're going to go check it out. One thing that's super new to Honda, capless fueling gas system. So all you need to do guys, just as you saw me do there, open up the door. You could put the gas in, fill up, take it out, shut the door and away you go. If your car is locked, you will not be able to open that little door. Okay, so coming up to our trunk, we're gonna use our key fob and just simply push and hold. Magic. And this is where you find your backup camera, super easy to keep clean. Okay, look at all of that room. We've got the 60-40 fold down. We're going to open those up and show you what that looks like. But we can fit tons of boxes, bags, golf bags, hockey equipment. It is fantastic. Let's go over and see those fold downs. Okay, guys. So I can just simply pull them down from up top. And the Civic is so convenient, I can lean over and pull this one down as well. Okay, you're going to be amazed. I promise. Look at that! You can fit so much stuff, guys. There's always been a 60-40 pass-through, but never one of this caliber. I can't wait to send uh, to have you send me photos of all of the amazing stuff you've been able to carry home from Home Depot, Ikea, Walmart, or maybe just a yard sale up the street. Awesome. Well, this is a beautiful looking vehicle, guys. I'm so excited that you dropped by and spent some time with me this afternoon. Let's just take one more look at the back seat. Awesome. See the pass through into the trunk. Fantastic. Again, this is the EXT Honda Civic available at Whitby Oshawa Honda. We're located just off the 401 here in Whitby, Ontario, right at Thixon. Give us a shout uh, or drop by our website. We're just a click or call away. Thanks again and have a happy Honda day.